Yep. Yep. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Murray Crab Fishing. Uh, today we are out on day two of the cod season. So we're calling it cod opening day two and tomorrow will be cod opening day three. So we're out on a uh, river. It's dirty, high and fast. It's lunchtime. We're having snags and a bevy. We're having a good break. We're out here for probably an hour out of the water. We'll have a swim and, and a rest. We'll be on the water today for between about 17 kilometers. So upwards 12, 14, 15 hours. Um, so it's really good to make sure you have that break and get yourself ready and prepared to the, for the other half of the day So that's what we're doing right now, but we've had a, a good morning. It's tough being tough conditions But I think we're on 11 fish between the two of us at the moment. So um, Yeah, we're, we're not doing too bad and we've got half a day to go. So uh, Yeah, stay tuned and see how it's unfolding <laughs> The cornholio. Yeah. <laughs> scared the crap out of me because it didn't go in close, and I was like, oh, what a crappy cast. And then, <laughs> oh, shivers on the board. First cod of the morning off the top here on the cornholio cod walker. Cornholio Codwalker, which is one of my uh, cod paddlers and made out of corn chops. Uh, this fella actually got me a few fish last year and had to re clear coat him before this season because he was minced. So I'm stoked with how these have turned out, but um, always a good feeling to get a fish on a lure you've made. So wrapped with that. <laughs> hey, Mark. When you come down here, have a look at this bit of wood that's just sitting on this branch from the floodwaters. Yeah. That's funny as. Yep. Oh! D dropped him. Damn it. He won't come back. He had full hooks. Oh, yeah, he did come back. Yep. Oh, he had full hooks and he came back again. <laughs> He's hungry. Righto, guys. Number two for me. This one was on the... Don't hold him like that on the hard body. He's a nice fish, but look at this. Uh, can't see anything in there. But they've been eating well. Um, not sad about that. And he came back, as you've just seen, which is, um, for this whole trip yesterday and today, this is the first fish to come back, and he was actually hooked. So that's even more unusual. Just gonna uh, get him back. I just drifted off. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so off he goes. So that's five fish between us so far today. TO guys, Mark Whitford has nailed six cod on the spinnerbait. 
and we've been fishing pretty similar similar spots putting in similar casts but the fact that the spinnerbait drops straight down and the diver swims out and the clarity is a bit how you doing we're thinking that might be the key difference and it might be wise to keep pursuing the spinnerbait bite so i've tied on a spinnerbait i can't remember who made it what it's called and half the trail is missing but i'm going to give that a run so let's chuck this Beautiful area. Never fished it. Never been down here before. It's not performing that great, but I think that's not due to the area. Like it's just conditions, day, you know, any of those things. But what a beautiful bit of river. That was a hit straight up and I missed him. I bet he won't come back. Yep, he came back, he came back. Yep. Oh. Spinnerbait for the win! <laughs> Look at that. Another beautiful little fish. Absolutely gorgeous. How yeah, good are they? So that's fish number three and the first on the spinnerbait. So, so we're going back in here. Okay, Look at this. Look at that. He just minced that thing. Didn't he? Look at that. I don't know how you meant to land a meter on one of these. Seriously. Yep, on. Yep. Baby. Yeah. All right, guys. So, fish number four. Full puppy. Oh, baby, baby. Cutie, fat baby. He's trying to swim away. Right, look at that. What a gorgeous little fish. We are just going to put him back quick sticks. Oh. You put half the river in me kayak. <laughs> oh, champion. So, here we are guys at lunchtime. This is where I've just done the intro, obviously. So you've caught up now. So we are heading off from lunch after we've had our snags, which are now cooked. And um, we're gonna see what else we can stir up. We're hoping to stir up a few more fish and potentially be on the water towards the end of the day when the pressure system drops and maybe get a few more surface fish in. So we'll see what happens, but we got big plans. And you know what they say about the plans of mice and men? I don't, I don't, but apparently that's the same. So anyway, let's uh, <laughs> let's go and see what we can come up with. Not a bad day, guys. The amount of structure in this river, snag after snag after snag. Tell you what, I'm snagged again. Oh, I'm snagged as well. <laughs> Yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. I, I let it drop and then I felt my rod go bump, 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 bump. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm on. <laughs> and then I was like, wound it and then there was nothing and then he smashed it again. Oh, nice. Probably one of the smallest for the day and yet another beautiful little cod. I was about to say trout. So I used to trout fishing because it's only the second day of the season. 
Yeah, we're going in. We're going in, people. Crash landing. So yeah, but beautiful little rat. You gotta love them, absolutely. Right now, so uh, probably done.